Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. All right, Libra, this is your energy check-in reading, and what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an Enchanted Forest Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you, followed by a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck, and then an angel number for you. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of us, my beautiful friends. Before we begin, I just wanted to bring something to all of your attention here. We got tons and tons of scammers out there. I've been seeing them in the comment section of my videos. I've been seeing them on Facebook. I've been seeing them everywhere. So I want you to be very careful. I only have two social media accounts. One is my YouTube channel here. It's verified and has a check mark. And the other one is on Instagram, which is also verified with a blue check mark. If you're finding yourselves being in contact with someone that is posing as myself with the cat symbol, especially on Facebook, I am not on Facebook, everyone. Be careful out there because these scammers are posing as lots of different people out there, not just me. But I feel this is ramping up, so you just wanna be extra careful. Just remember, I have two accounts. I will never reach out to you for a personal reading. If you find yourselves uh, receiving messages from someone that is posing as me on these social media platforms, it is not me. And again, I'm gonna repeat this one more time. I'm only on YouTube and Instagram, both verified accounts with check marks, okay? So stay safe out there, everyone. All right, Libra, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear today. So we are getting for you. Pursue happiness. They want you to pursue happiness, Libra. So the message here is never apologize for what brings you joy. Only you understand where you truly belong and where you can find your safe space. Follow your bliss. So once again, never apologize for what brings you joy, Libra. Only you understand where you truly belong and where you can find your safe space. Follow your bliss. Anything that brings you excitement, that's where you're meant to be. Joy and excitement, follow that. All right, so Libra, let's pull some tarot cards and see what else is coming through. So we are getting the star card. Look at this guidance. It's all around you. I feel that you are connected here, Libra. You're following the guidance. And there's something special that is coming in. There's something magical that is taking place in your life. And only you, Libra, can explain to me what this is. Now, this is a major arcana card. So this energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it tends to be in the background. So some of you might feel this intensely while others you might feel this subtly. So the star card to start, we have the seven of cups. So what I'm getting here with these two is you prayed for something, wished for something, set an intention, and now it's taking shape. Spirit is aligning all the individuals, opportunities, and things that you need in order to reach this dream. This is what's coming in for you. So opportunities and blessings, everyone. This is so exciting. It's an alignment that is taking place. And I feel some of you are actually seeing the alignment happening in real time, like you're seeing it happening. Okay, so that's the seven of cups. Number seven in numerology is a spiritual number. So spiritual growth is happening as well. Um, something happening here in your spiritual experience. We've got the queen of pentacles. So an opportunity that you have picked up on, something that you have drawn into your life here. This could be a manifestation, a wish or a prayer, and you've really grown with it. You've really put all of your energy, your nurture, your care into this, and now you're in this beautiful position of stable energy, of living your dream reality. This is a place of abundance. This is where you're headed if you're not already experiencing it. Libra, 
So look at that. Now I want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up on the screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So the queen of pentacles here, everyone. And those of you that are seeing the numbers 17, seven and 13. So uh, 17, 7, and 13. These are coming in as confirmation that there's something in this reading for you today. And uh, 1, 7, 7, and 1, 3 in that order. In that sequence is also coming in, coming in as a confirmation. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today, Libra. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon rising and Venus signs. All right. So we've got expansion. We've got some growth. We've got some movement. We've got things shifting and changing here for you, Libra. You are the one that is setting this all off. You have made a decision or a choice somewhere in your life where you're like, you know what? screw this. I'm going to do my thing. I want to really focus on my goals. I really want something to come into my life. So there's a commitment. There's also a sacrifice within that commitment that is being made here. And some of you have made, made this uh, commitment or sacrifice a long time ago, and you're starting to really see how everything is taking shape in your life. You've been seeing it in real time. You know all the alignments and everything that the universe has sent your way, the choices that you have made and where those choices have led you. But you know, you know, it doesn't matter where you're moving, whatever choice you made, you were meant to make that choice in that moment. Okay, so we have a guiding light. I've got the Star of David coming in with this. I've been getting this for the star card every time I pull it today. So the Star of David dreams, pay attention to your dreams. I do feel that passed on loved ones are showing up in your dreams. I'm also getting a message coming in for some of you in your dreams from a person in your past. Okay, and this person that was in your past is showing up now in your dream after many years. That's a confirmation for some of you and pay attention to the words that they're speaking, the communication that is being exchanged with you. I also feel that um, Libra, for you, there may be some miscommunication through computers and digital things. So they want you to make sure that you are slowing down and reading things because the communication, like I just feel all, all sorts of communication that's coming in for you have messages. And I'm not asking you to be obsessively looking at signs through messages. These are messages that are going to stick out to you. Something that you're going to be like, oh, hmm, what does that actually mean? Or it's like, oh, that word stuck out and I was asking a question. I was asking and thinking this thing. And all of a sudden your, your question was answered in some way. It's that's how this energy is coming in for some of you, right? Um, the other thing is some of you have um, recently changed up your dreams. Some of you have recently thought about things on a more deeper level where you have realized what it is that you're doing in your life isn't actually tied to your dream. Maybe you were led to this part of your life because of whatever circumstances, whatever choices and decisions that you've made, but you're seeing yourself on another path. Maybe things are really good where you are, right? Maybe things aren't bad. Maybe things are just I don't know, boring perhaps or uneventful. I feel someone is kind of missing the excitement or wanting something different, something new. This is coming in for you. Libra, this is coming in for you. You're going to experience new things. So this is where spirit wants you to be open and receptive and allow some of these changes to come in without being afraid of, you know, what could go wrong, what people will think of you, all these things that sometimes we have in the background that keep us away from actually um, taking those steps towards our dreams. So these, these signs that are coming in, these confirmations for you, you can see them. Look how big this star is. It's making itself known. It's in the sky. So perhaps some of you are seeing things in the skies. Maybe these are stars, shooting stars. We got meteorites, right, that are um, showing up in the skies as well. Aura from sun flares. This is all these kinds of things that we're seeing. And Spirit and Mother Earth are showing you how beautiful this universe is, how beautiful it is, this world we live in. And everything that you desire already exists. 
It's just we have to tune into that energy and that frequency. So I feel that there are signs and things that are coming in aligning you to that path as long as you're open to it, right? As long as you're open to it. So someone that was maybe praying by their bedside, perhaps you have made a wish to written it down, uh, set an intention, lit a candle, whatever you have done, you've activated something. And I do feel this has to do with the 88 portal, triple eight portal, the Lionsgate portal. And it's starting to come in. All these things are lining up to you, individuals that are showing up, synchronicities that are taking place. Maybe something happens suddenly that you weren't expecting, but it happens in such a good way. It might not feel good in the moment, but after everything kind of flips over, it's like, oh, okay, now I see the bigger picture. This actually makes sense for me. Or I thought this was gonna be bad for me, but it turned out to be really good. These kind of things are happening in your life. And Spirit, again, wants you to be open and receptive to everything that is coming in in the way that is coming in. And some of you might not be expecting things to happen the way that they're happening. Sometimes when we receive a wish or a gift, it comes in exactly how we want it to. But a lot of times, this is what I felt in my own life, it shows up in the most wildest ways. And I feel spirit purposely does that because it's a moment that we're meant to remember. It's a moment that we're actually meant to experience. And it's a story that we can share later on, right? As a confirmation for other people, like this is the thing that happened to me. And, you know, an example of this is I lost a job years ago that felt like a tower moment. And um, thank God I lost that job. That was a blessing in disguise because I didn't want to stay there. I wasn't even happy there. I stayed there for seven years and um, things happened. I was let go and um, it was devastating. I went through the emotions, but that same day I went and looked at other jobs and I found a job better than the one I had with more growth opportunities, but also paid a lot more. And it was a more, it was a leadership role where this wasn't. So I feel there's an expansion happening for you. Things are happening that are meant to happen because something else better that is coming in for you is meant for you right now. And this is a part of your spiritual evolution, Libra. This is a part of the growth and the ascension you're going to experience in your life. And I feel there's definitely spiritual growth, the way that you're um, experiencing your life, the way that you're choosing to experience your life. That's the thing. Some of you are choosing to live on this spiritual path rather than allow, you know, external energies, things that it's almost like you're detaching from the matrix. You're creating your own path here. You're in alignment with this and your higher self, Libra, is guiding the way. And I feel your higher self might be showing up in people, bits and pieces of people, um, where maybe the person reminds you of yourself. Maybe this person inspires you in, in some way and you're kind of like, okay, you know what, this person, I love the vibe of them. I wanna get to know them more because I wanna, I wanna feel, it's almost like you're trying to connect with that energy. So there's different, different things that are coming in, even opportunities that just randomly show up for you. It's like you're having a conversation and all of a sudden you strike this uh, certain specific um, conversation and all of a sudden out of that comes an opportunity. Maybe you decide that you're going to put yourself out there and mix and mingle and you find someone that is so in alignment with you. It is kind of freaky and it turns out they're your soulmate and you're al that's the alignment you needed and, and you're on this new path with this other person experiencing a completely different life with this person in your life, right? So there's so many things that you're in alignment with here that you're going to see coming in. Libra, opportunity. So I'm seeing some of you starting like finally taking the plunge, finally starting to work toward your dreams and your goals. And because you're getting this machine going, it's like um, turning on a lawnmower. You know how sometimes we're pulling on that string and it's just taking its time and all of a sudden it goes and then it really goes. That's what I'm getting with this energy is like once you get going, you're going to see how everything starts to fall into place for you. 
This is what's happening here. And some of you might love candles. Maybe you have candlelight in your home. I'm seeing a lot of candles that some of you are surrounded by. So candles might be your thing. That's my thing. I love to set intentions using a candle, lighting it. I do this around everything important. So especially the triple eight portal on August the 17th and also the 26th. Remember to light a candle, set your intentions, everyone. We want to put that energy out, out into the universe. And the other thing is the energy that you put out there is going to come back to you. So this month, August being in alignment with the number eight, we're in the year number eight, right? It's just so many number eight powerful energies, the infinity symbol, right? I've got yin yang here in my mind coming up as well. But those of us that are working really hard right now, Spirit is saying just do just a little bit more, just a little bit more than that. That's the eight of the, that's the triple eight portal. It's like, let's put a little bit more power into the things that we're doing because we're going to see so much of that coming back. I've been doing this in my own life, right? So, and this is an opportunity this month of August, even September is a major opportunity for growth for us. So it's all about seeing what it is that we are made of, the power that we harness, us nurturing that power and wielding it in the world, right? Understanding that our experiences are what, uh, what mold us into who we are, right? They're a part of us, our history, the things that we have gone through, we have learned through those experiences that, that have made us stronger. So this is where we take a look at our accomplishments, right? We're in a place where we can actually do that. Some of you are, are in a place where you're looking back at your life and you're like, oh my gosh, look at all that I went through to get this to this place in my life. And it was all worth it. Some of you are in a place of gratitude where you're looking at it and you're like, you know what? I see why I was meant to go through that. I see why I was meant to go through this. It, it, I am who I am because I went through all of that, right? I even go back and look at my life and I would never change anything. Even though I went through some terrible times, I wouldn't change them. I would go back through them because I love my children. They can, you know, I love YouTube. I love having my channel on YouTube. I, I love my husband. Everything happened and the way it was meant to happen. I can go back and look at it. I feel some of you are in that same position where you're looking, you're understanding. This is igniting a fire within you where perhaps you're wanting to share your story in some way. So remember that we are in a very powerful time of creativity right now. You have the power to create. So why not dabble in creativity and just see where that takes us. If you're somebody that has been experiencing a lot of emotions, uh, maybe you have been on an emotion, emotion, emotional roller coaster ride um, and just things have been just all over the place for you. I feel whatever emotions that were attached to those experiences, why not channel that energy into something in a way that you can express it, right? Rather than I feel that there's something, an opportunity for you to tap into something that has to do with you, your past, your emotions that is meant to be shared and expressed in some form. So perhaps you're meant to explore that a little bit more. Um, they're wanting you to focus on your self care here, your wellness, your physical body, um, your own energy. So implementing practices in your life right now that help balance and calm you. I feel that um, I'm getting a flare up coming in. I get flare ups quite often that come through the readings. And maybe this is in your ankles or your feet, legs around there, that area, like below your calves here um, or your thighs. Sorry, I'm just getting energy around like puffiness in your legs and your ankles and your feet, maybe your toes or something like that. Um, water retention, something to do with a water connection. I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving any kind of medical advice here, everyone. I'm just reading and uh, giving you what it is that I'm getting through the cards here today. So make sure you're seeing a, a doctor, especially if you're feeling any kind of physical ailments, okay? Um, I'm also getting a loyal dog, a loyal cat here. So some of you may have pets right now that have been a huge part of your life that have given you strength. Right. So I'm getting a, a strong presence of a very loyal partner and I feel I'm getting an animal like a fur baby here. Um, so there's a lot around you there. I feel you have support. You also have comfort here, Libra. So know that everything is going really well in your life. All is well. 
So maybe repeat that affirmation to yourself, especially if you're feeling any kind of chaotic energy and imbalance anywhere in your life, just all is well, all is well. Just repeat that to yourself. I also am getting here synchronicities that are coming in. So when we see a synchronicity happen in our life and we recognize it as a synchronicity, not a coincidence, I don't believe in coincidences, I believe in synchronicity. So whenever I see one happening, I will say an affirmation just to confirm that I saw that synchronicity or sign, right? And you can choose whatever affirmation you want, like all is well, or another one, just pick one and use that same one for a little while. I always pick one affirmation, then I use it for a good three months and then I will switch it up. So this is where you implement practices in your life that keep you balanced. And you're going to see a lot of growth, a lot of expansion here. Libra, watch, wait and watch what it is that you do here. You're going to see a lot through the energy that you put out there. I love this for you. <clears throat> All right. So now let's pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. We're going to see what it is that Spirit wants to share with you through this deck. All right. So we are getting Libra. Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. Spirit wants you to be playful here. So if you're seeing a sandpiper, this is your confirmation today. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. So the number 51 if you've been seeing the number 51 around you, this is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 51 days and 51 hours around the message of this card. So the oracle message here is sandpipers are like cute little clowns poking their beaks into the sand before darting off to chase the waves. The appearance of sandpiper spirit is a sign that now is a time to engage your playfulness. Whatever tasks you have before you, perform them in a lightness of being. Explore familiar, discovering the new in the old. Who knows what treasures await you when you let yourself laugh and have fun. Sandpiper Spirit's happy and curious nature can help you to feel rejuvenated as well as remember your ability to run and fly and dance playfully. So the protection message here for you is when your heart is heavy and life seems to weigh you down, Sandpiper Spirit's message is to lighten your burden by finding joy and humor in everyday life. Become like a playful child filled with curiosity and wonder and soon you will find you feel your own spirit lift. A few minutes or hours of fun-filled delight is exactly what you need right now. So enjoy the ridiculousness of life and be willing to jump in. Let your inner goof out to express itself with abandon. So look at that. They're wanting you to embrace the energy of the Sandpiper Spirit. So let's pull an angel number, see what it is that spirit would like to share with you. So those of you that are seeing angel numbers or even repeating numbers, this is going to bring you your confirmation and guidance. So we are getting here for you 101. So if you're seeing these numbers in this sequence, this is your confirmation today. So some of you are starting over. Look at that. So the message here is happiness is linked to self-expression, growth and experience. Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible and around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. So start fresh here. The keywords are intelligence. They're wanting you to use your intelligence and the wisdom and information that is coming in from another intelligence. Dynamics, making a difference. You're going to make a difference in your life. You're going to experience failures, but remember, through failures, we grow. Personal or spiritual development is also taking place for some of you. So look at that. All right, everyone, before I forget, I just wanted to mention that August is the perfect month to manifest to set intentions, light candles. So we have some more magic intention candles back in stock. If you're interested in purchasing these, the link is in the description box below. These are made by my beautiful sister-in-law, Katomi. She makes these from home. And uh, you might not get these by August the 8th, but the 17th of August and the 26th are also days that add up to the single digit eight. So you can light these candles on those dates. So if you're interested, we still have some more available. The link is in the description box below. This is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.